Whether you're working from the road, your main office, or remote locations, you have on-demand access to contact and customer details like contact information, meetings, activities, and opportunities with Sage Act hosted. You and your team have the ability to log into Sage Act Premium from your computer, tablet, or smartphone anytime you're online, so you're always on the same page, even if you're not in the same place. If you also need offline access, you can optionally purchase and install a local copy of Sage Act Premium and synchronize your data between your local PC and secure servers in the cloud. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to identify the steps you need to complete following your purchase so you can get started with Sage Act Hosted. Following acceptance of your quote and purchase of the service, you will receive an email with instructions to get started with the service. You'll need to complete a few steps to get set up on the Sage Act hosted service. First, register using the PIN number supplied in your welcome message. Then, create one or more users for your hosted database. And if you have a Sage Act database currently, upload a complete backup of your Sage Act database to the Sage Act hosted servers. Note, the data conversion of one existing Sage Act database is included with your purchase. The conversion of additional Sage Act databases or data import of other file types such as Microsoft Excel or CSV files will incur additional fees. After you complete the previous steps, your data will be available within 48 hours. When it's ready, you'll receive a confirmation email message containing a link to access your Sage Act database. Optionally, if you've purchased the offline client to enable one or more users to use Sage Act Premium while disconnected from the internet, Additional instructions will be provided so you can download Sage Act Premium and a copy of the server database to restore on those users' computers. Specific details about installing the offline client are covered in a separate video lesson. Well, let's get started. First, open your confirmation email. This email includes step-by-step -step instructions to guide you through the process of setting up your user accounts. As mentioned in this message, before you can set up your user accounts and or upload data, you'll need to register your account. Click the link to begin registering your account. Note, only the administrator setting up Sage Act Hosted needs to register an account. After clicking the link, you're redirected to the Sage Act Hosted portal. Your customer portal PIN number is already entered, and you can just complete the additional information requested and then click Create My Account. After creating your account, you are automatically logged into the Sage Act hosted portal where you can create user accounts, upload data, and complete the setup of your account. Additionally, you'll receive an email message. That includes step-by-step -step instructions for logging into the Sage Act hosted portal, creating users, uploading data, and completing the setup of your account. Save this email and refer to it as you complete the remaining setup steps. While every Sage Act database requires database users to be defined for each user in your organization that will access data, each user has a contact record in the database as well as a username for logging in and various security permissions. Optionally, if you've purchased offline access for one or more users, you must specify which users have that option. On the Sage Act user information page, a number of rows will be displayed depending upon how many user accounts you've purchased for your Sage Act hosted service. Simply complete the information in each box of the table to add users to your database. Typically, the first user is the administrator. After setting up your users, click Save and Continue. If you have additional offline client users but have not yet specified them on this screen, either cancel and specify them now or save and continue to specify them later. Next you'll have the option to upload data. If you plan on uploading existing data, you'll click Yes, I have data to upload for setup. 
then back up your current SageAct database and upload it to the SageAct hosted servers. As the note indicates, data cannot be imported directly into your SageAct hosted database. If you've purchased the offline client option, you can import data to the offline client and then that data will synchronize to your SageAct hosted database online. If you do not have a SageAct database to upload at this time, choose No, I will not be uploading data for setup, or if you need to do additional preparation of your data before you back it up in SageAct, you might want to choose Exit and Finish Later. Let's assume you'll be uploading data. Click Yes, I have data to upload for setup. And on the next screen, instructions are provided for uploading and also backing up your data in SageAct. To back up data in SageAct, from within SageAct, click File, Backup, and then choose Database. In the Backup Files 2 box, click the Browse button and select a convenient location, such as the desktop, and then click Save. Click OK to start the backup. After the backup is completed, click OK. After backing up your data, return to the SageAct hosted portal and complete the form to upload your data. Select the data type, enter the administrator username and password for the SageAct database, then browse to the backup file. Click Upload and wait while the data is uploaded to the SageAct hosted servers. After your data has been uploaded, a table at the bottom of the page will be updated to include information about your database. Click Continue, and if you have any additional notes or instructions, please enter them in the text box. Otherwise, click Complete Wizard. The Setup Wizard Complete confirmation page displays. At this point, a SageAct hosted support team member will begin creating your database on the SageAct hosted servers and set up your SageAct user accounts as instructed. Within the next 24 to 48 hours after your database has been set up, you'll receive an email message containing instructions for accessing your database online. The email includes several important instructions regarding how you may access your SageAct data. You'll notice you can open your desktop or mobile device web browser and connect to the link provided to access your SageAct hosted database. Log in with your username and password to begin using SageAct. You may distribute this same link to other users on your team and they may log in with their unique username and password. Now in order to use all of the features in SageAct Premium, including Microsoft Outlook integration, you will need to configure your web browser settings to enable downloading and installation of additional components. For more information, refer back to your email message and access the knowledge base articles referenced for configuring Internet Explorer or Firefox so you can get the most use out of your SageAct Premium access via web client. Alternatively, you can access www.sageu.com forward slash act forward slash hosted to register for and access your collection of free SageAct hosted videos that cover over 40 topics to help you get started quickly with the SageAct product. As you have learned, SageAct hosted gives you anytime, anywhere access to your SageAct data. Getting started requires creating users, uploading data, and then logging into your database from your desktop or mobile device client. Using this service, you and your team have the ability to log into SageAct Premium from your computer, tablet, or smartphone anytime you're online, so you're always on the same page even if you're not in the same place.